Hey everyone, Jason Schapper here, and in today's video, we're talking about factors affecting stall speed. So first off, I want to talk about, uh, just, just get one quick note out here. An airplane is always going to stall at the same critical angle of attack. However, an airplane can stall at any airspeed. So the stall is always going to happen at the same critical angle of attack, but we can reach that critical angle of attack at any airspeed, and that's really important to note. So as we're going over a few of these, keep that in mind. So let's talk about the first one. And the first one's a little bit more complex, but I can guarantee you this sort of stuff comes up on even private pilot check rides on a regular basis because I see it happen day in and day out. And that is CG loading, center of gravity. A forward CG equals a higher stall speed. That is because of the increased wing loading. Whereas an aft CG has a lower stall speed. Again, beat this into your head because this sort of stuff comes up on check rides. So forward CG, higher stall speed. And just remember aft would be the opposite. Okay, let's look at another one here. What about turning? Well, we know in a turn we lose that horizontal component of lift, but what is really going on is an aircraft in a 30 degree bank increases its stall speed by at least 7%. So take your stall speed and add 7% to it. Um, you know, if you've ever done turning stalls, and hopefully you've seen my turning stalls video, you know that we stall sooner. We stall at that increased, that faster airspeed. Although the same critical angle of attack, we just reach it sooner because of that bank we add in there increasing by a certain percentage. So let's look at another one now. What about adding flaps? Well, previously we've been talking about increasing stall speed. Well, we know that using flaps increases our drag and thus will decrease our actual stall speed. That's why we use flaps when we're coming into land. We're generating a ton of lift, we're slowing ourselves down by producing that drag, and we're decreasing our stall speed. Uh, those of you that have gotten you know, into your flight training, you're doing power on and power off stalls, you understand this. Okay, and let's look at one more here, and then I'm gonna leave this, uh, this video fairly open-ended here. Um, contamination, things like icing, excessive dirt, uh, hail dimples, if you've ever seen an airplane that's been you know, uh, you know, hit by hail, uh, can all increase stall speed. Um, icing is really the big one here. Excessive dirt, you know, it, it's possible. It would have to be a really, really dirty airplane um, to, to really play a factor. You know, a few love bugs or anything like that aren't going to uh, affect it too much. Although a good incentive to clean your airplane off. Um, so contamination is another factor that can increase your stall speed, really because you're ruining that smooth airflow uh, over and underneath your wing coming off that leading edge. So what I want to know from you guys is what are some other factors? There are a ton that I didn't mention in this video. We did that purposefully because I want to see what you guys have to say about it. Leave me a comment below. I prefer you leave the comment below on m0a.com because that's where I check the comments. That's where I can get you a reply. If you leave the comments on uh, video sites like YouTube, um, it's difficult for me to check um, all the places this video ends up. So leave the comment on m0a.com on what are some other factors that could affect your stall speed, whether it be an increase or decrease in stall speed. I'd love to hear from you guys and hear your uh, smart uh, aerodynamic thinking. Um, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you have a wonderful week, a great chance to do some flying. I can't wait to read your comments. So most importantly this week, guys, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great week, guys. See ya.